Hi, this is Steve Brightfield, Chief Marketing Officer at BrainChip, coming to you from the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas 2025. We are here talking to key partners, industry analysts, and leading developers of electronics products in the market and to get a feel for what is in the future for AI, particularly AI at the edge. I'm joined today with my good friend, Ram Kishore Karada. He's the founder and CEO of Vedya.ai, uh, focused on edgy AI uh, solutions and applications uh, in visual and audio sensors. So welcome. Thank you, Steve. Great. So, you know, we've known each other for some time, and this is not your first time founding a company. Maybe you can give us a little background on what you did before you founded uh, Vedya. Shoot, sure, Steve. Um, prior to starting uh, Vedya Labs, I was one of the co-founder of a company called Path Partner Technologies. At Path Partner, we focused on embedded engineering with a special focus on multimedia signal processing, multimedia codecs, and enabling the applications and use cases based on the multimedia and computer vision. So we had very good partnerships with semicon companies and also like we did work with many consumer and industry industrial IoT OEMs. So, uh, yeah, that's how we got to know each other when I was at Qualcomm. You were a key provider of, of uh, multimedia uh, applications and development services on the, on that mobile phone platform. Is that correct? Yes, Steve. Absolutely, that's correct. So, like, we had partnerships in place with various companies like Qualcomm and Texas Instruments, and we had expertise on their subsystem, subsystems like DSPs and ISPs, and we provided services around that those subsystems to our customers. Now, what happened with Path Partner? Uh, Path Partner got acquired in 2021. Excellent. Now, how many people were working for you at Path Partner at that time? So when we got acquired, the company was around 500 employees. Wow, that's, that's a pretty significant development team that you had doing that work, and they were based in India, correct? Yes, Steve. Like, most of the team, like 95% of the team was based out of India. And we had a small 5% of the team located in North America. So this was really about, you know, writing software, multimedia software on digital signal processors a lot and a lot of embedded programming. Um, now, it's interesting that after you uh, sold that, you know, I told you you should have retired, but you you have a great drive and, and, and fascination with this industry. And now there's a whole new industry for you to service. Instead of signal processing, you're working on edge, edge AI. Is that correct? Yes, Steve, that's exactly correct. So when we started our careers way back in 20 years back, signal processing is the main thing and also like it was driving many markets. And fast forward after 20 years, now we see A is driving many markets. So like A is cutting across both um, in the cloud and also on the edge. And also especially on the edge, it is driving many use cases and applications. And we see an opportunity for us to play in this emerging market. Yeah, I, I really see how the industry is, it's like a whole new wave of the industry where everything was uh, a signal processing. And uh, now that's being, all the work you did in signal processing is being eaten away by AI algorithms before they were DSP algorithms. So it's a whole new set of skill sets, right? It's kind of, you're right, Steve. Uh, it's kind of like a whole new set of skill sets. But in terms of like, uh, the requirements for like uh, making best use of the silicon and also like make use of the best of the emirate system, that requirement is still there. There's always a need for optimizing the algorithms and also like uh, how do we make best use of the silicon and system level optimization, system level performance tuning for A application is still there. So I think this is part of what, you know, we've been exploring in some of these podcasts is, is that doing uh, ed, AI in the data, data center is a lot simpler than doing AI at the edge. And it has a lot of this optimization things that really that's what you were doing before with signal processing. So it kind of is, is uh, it kind of follows on uh, uh, the expertise that you had before. So if you look at Vedya, uh, what is your business model and what value do you bring to your customers? So our primary business model is uh, developing the complete solution for our customers. So like we operate right from the solutioneering in terms of like providing the right solution, coming up with the right model for the customer. 
and we help our customers in the data preparation, data labeling, selecting the right model, model fine tuning, deployment on the edge device, and also like taking care of the ML ops, what so we call as edge ops, so that like customer is able to continuously improve the solution and the model is working as expected. Wow, so it's really full service kind of uh, a support. So what type of customers uh, uh, does Vedia you know, look at providing those services to? <clears throat> so today we, we are working with customers in robotics, industrial vision, and smart cameras, and smart city space. And we have customers coming to us for complete solution development, deployment, and operating the solution. I see. So a lot of these companies would probably want to do it themselves. So why would they hire uh, Vedya to do it rather than doing it themselves? In many cases, uh, a lot of companies, like, they understand that, okay, A is going to solve the problem, but they don't know how to go forward. <laughs> Especially they lack the they lack the knowledge on the emirate systems and also, like, on the edge systems. So that is where we come, in, come into the play. So, like, we have the expertise of understanding the problem and also like we understanding how do we fit the right model to the right embedded platform and also like how do we deploy and also take care of the complete system integration make it work great yeah i i think that that is in line with a, what we call the the developer's channel at the challenge at the edge which is it's a lot more complex to migrate an ai algorithm to the edge and manage its deployment uh than it is to uh put some code on the data center and you have all the vast amount of computing resources you have a vast amount of memory all the data is there Typically in the edge, you have streaming data, right, uh, which is constantly coming in like a fire hose into the device, okay. and you have to manage that. So what tricks do you use to manage that fire hose of data coming into a, a device? Yes. Um, we get a lot of uh, data, especially like visual data. We get huge amounts of data, and also like we need to figure out, uh, we need to operate the model at the full resolution, so figure out how do we downscale and also like what is the right resolution required for the model, figure out and handle it. So it's really not just programming. You're doing some system engineering of trying to fit the problem to the algorithms and then train the models. And, and then you get down and you actually implement it with low-level coding. Is that correct? Yes, Steve, absolutely. You got it fully correct. Oh, good. All right. Well, we've worked together a lot before. And, uh, you know, when when I, I saw what Vedya was doing and uh, the track record you had with Path Partners, uh, uh, when I joined Brainship, I was excited for us to work together again. And, uh, you know, when we, we talked multiple times about this, and you, once you've signed up as a partner with Brainship, tell me what kind of motivated you to sign up with uh, Brainship as a partner. <clears throat> So like we uh, typically work with companies who bring innovation to the table and we saw Brainchip is as a very unique solution for the edge segment and with our software capabilities and with the offerings of Brainchip, we see a good opportunity for us to address the low power energy efficiency needs of the edge market. Well, from our perspective, I mean, we we ha have, you know, present our technology to customers and maybe end customers, and they're really excited about our technology, but they're not quite sure what to do with it, or they don't have the skill set in their organization to move forward uh, with the product schedule. Uh, you know, there's a lot of times in this fast-moving industry, there isn't that an educational time that they can get up to speed. Uh, so, uh, you know... We see, uh, you know, the addition of Vedya to our partnership is a, is a valuable uh, service to our customers to get them to market with our, our interesting technologies. Yes, absolutely correct, Steve. We want to help your customers to go into production much faster and quicker way, and also in a cost-effective way. In a cost-effective way, too, yes. So what are the edge AI challenges do you see a lot of companies face when they're trying to get into a product, and what do you advise with them Advise them when you first kind of go over the problem statement with them? Many times, customers don't understand what AI can solve and what AI can't solve. Mm -hmm. That's where, like, customers should come with realistic expectations. And also, like, edge devices have their own limitations in terms of, like, memory, memory processing power. Customers should understand the understanding constraints of the edge system. 
Okay, great. Now, you know, BrainChip is focusing on neuromorphic computing, um, and that's a lot different than a lot of what people learn in school when they go learn about AI. They learn about what I call data center AI, which is massive amounts of calculations and all the data samples. So what do you see um, the unique advantages of neuromorphic computing for the edge? Most of the edge is happening uh, based on the events, especially like uh, whether it's audio event or the video events, it is all about uh, detecting the event and also like processing the events in a cost-effective way. That's where like uh, neuromorphic computing from brain chip comes into play. And it can really help in resulting efficient systems, both in terms of processing power, perform power consumption and cost. Well, that's exactly what we we try to tell uh, our our prospective customers, and it's great to hear that you have the same vision as us. Um, I, I see a lot of innovation in this market, and I see a lot of people trying to force AI into products that might not fit. And I think they it's nice to have a resource that they can go to where they can really fully kind of describe their problem and get some expert advice from from your team at Vedya. That's really great to hear. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. And we look forward to having a collaboration with you again and make it successful like in the past. So just tell us a few about the use cases or demonstrations that you think are, are possible in this partnership and, and uh, uh, what you see uh, happening in 2025. Uh, we foresee like demonstrations uh, in two segments, like one is in the audio and also like one based on the visual. Uh, in the audio, we are looking at uh, enabling use cases like uh, wake word, some of the audio algorithms. In the vision case, we are looking at algorithms for the solutions for visual inspection for the factory. And these are some of the use cases we would like to enable on the brain chip in 2025. Excellent, excellent. So how how does our listeners learn more about Vedya? Uh... Um, so like they can go to our website and also like they can reach out to us. Our website is vedya.a. That's V-E-D-Y-A dot A-I. That's correct, to you. Okay, good. I just wanted to make sure that was clear because I, I had stumbled a little bit on the name before. What does Vedya mean? Vedya means knowledgeable in Sanskrit. Oh, very good. So it's so an Indian not... description of knowledge, right? Yes, exactly. That's correct. So we are knowledgeable in what we are doing. Well, I certainly agree with you on that. And it was wonderful to have you as part of our partnership team. And I look forward to our listeners exploring your capabilities and working together with you on our customers' problems. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Steve. Thanks for giving the opportunity. Yeah. One last question. Did you see anything at CES that you were particularly surprised about or you thought was very innovative? People that don't get to go to CES, they're always interested in some tidbits of information like that. Yeah, you see like a lot of um, innovation and also like a new products happening in the home cleaning robo vacuum. Segment. Is that right? Mm -hmm. And also like a humanoid robots, also like a lot of progress and evolution happening. Yeah. One of the things I saw was a, a robotic uh, pool cleaner that used AI to make sure that it didn't miss a spot. It was really quite amazing. <laughs> that's of course, that's pretty good. Well, thanks for so much for joining us. It's a, a wonderful to welcome you to the Brain Chip team, Ram Kishore. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. Thanks again for the opportunity. Okay. Thank you.